Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. So we were just looting this house, which I believe we are finished with actually. Um, yeah, we're done. So we're gonna head back out. I'm gonna go dump off. Actually, how are we doing on stuff? Not too bad. All right, then we'll do another house or two. We're in New Denver. This is the New Denver map in case you uh, are wondering. Very nice community made map that's been around. It's been around for a while. It's a, I believe, modeled on New Denver, uh, Victoria, I want to say, in Canada. A lot of frying pans. I'll take one. I think we already have one. I'll take all of this. Take this. I guess I should take the rounds for the future. Bottle of disinfectant. Pretty sure I've got one of those already too, but why not? It's a very sad little house. Heard somebody knocking. Are you on the back side of the house? No? Okay. I don't know where you are. Alright, we're gonna head back to our little, little house that we've set aside for ourselves at the moment. Just to drop all our junk off. And it's getting late-ish, so we should probably think about going to sleep. Go straight back to the kitchen, drop all of our food in the, as much as we can in the freezer. I should make sure that the ice cream goes in the freezer first, in case we run out of space. My rationale for putting things in the freezer instead of just in the refrigerator is, is that they don't, things don't go bad as fast in the, um, in the freezer. And so when the f when the power inevitably goes out, we'll have a little bit more of a buffer time before things stop functioning. Just put all the random food in here too, why not? Butter, bread. What else we got? Avocado, that'll go in the freezer. Another ice cream. Tofu, tomato, juice boxes as far as I can tell don't actually go bad, but we'll just put it in there anyways. And we'll just dump off the rest of our junk, shall we? I can get rid of all of this. Uh, what do we to put that away? Put that away, and hold on to that. Put those away. Alright, so we got a little bit of time before she's going to want to go to sleep, so we can at least do carpentry for beginners here. Do a little reading. This is our second day, isn't it? Nope. First day. Okay. Uh, so, I, so the first day, it always takes forever for them to get sleepy. Why did it take me so long to get into this map last time? Nah, I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. Alright, so Alright, oh, I'm bored already. <laughs> let's go let's go see if we can do a little bit more work before it gets dark. I don't think we've been in this house yet. Hello, zombie. Alright, so let's move the broken glass. Expect there to be a zombie in here that we just traded places with, yeah? Alright buddy, come on back in. Alright, we'll come out to you. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? A plank. A lighter. Rope. Another plank. Some nails. I'll take those. Bunch of charcoal. Which is sort of useful. I think. I actually have never used charcoal for anything. Alright, who's out here? Who's making all that ruckus? These guys. Alright, well gonna go we're gonna go in a different window and just meet them inside. Normal hiking bag. 
Always with the normal hiking bags. It's not exactly what you would call a bad find, but it's not what I want. What's this guy? Huh. There we go. I feel like I almost got bit again. People tell me I don't know how to use the, the stabby thing, the knife, correctly. And they're probably right. But I do my best. I try. I try. Alright, what you got? Garbage bag. Then I'll take all of this. Nothing in there. Did I move away before I got it all? No, I got it all. Okay. Canned food, broccoli seeds, mac and cheese, pasta, water bottle. So much stuff. And you get used to playing on the on ultra rare loot, and then you can play one of these, and it's just like, here, have all the stuff. Nails and a saw. I find a saw already. I don't know. Played too many different games in a row. I'm, my brain's going to mush. All right. Let's turn this off, shall we? There we go. Trapping from beginners. I'll take it. Bet we can't put any tunes on the jukebox. All right, now it's starting to get late. The sun's starting to go down, so let's go back to our home. Drop our junk off, and then I'll read that book for the rest of the day. Onion, that goes in the freezer. Banana, I'm just gonna have her eat right now. Meat patty, that says for freezer. None of that is perishable. All right. I'm going to just take all of this, put it in here. And then we'll drop off the nails. I suppose I should fill that cook pot instead of just keeping it in my inventory. Wood glue can get dropped off. Two of these water bottles. No reason to. Carry around a whole bunch of extra water bottles. Tweezers I'll hold on to. Trapping for beginners I don't need to carry around. That'll work. Alright, so fill. And fill the cook pot. There you go. Also can dump off the broken knife. Don't need that. Probably don't need to carry that trowel around either, now that I think about it. Alright, so let's go to the bedroom. And we will read this book for a little while. Let's go to like 20... Well, let's just go to 20, right to the top of the, top of the day. Maybe we won't go all the way to the top of the day because it's kind of slow. We'll do 23. Yep, he's get, she's getting bored. There you go. Yeah, right back at it, bright and early at 8 o'clock in the morning. And wakey wakey. There you go. Alright, let's go start some trouble. First, let's get this body out of here. Drop it on this guy. Where are you, corpse? Where are you, corpsey? There you are. Alright, so equip their kitchen knife. Uh, you know what? It dawns on me that we should probably have a uh, frying pan in our inventory so that in case things go awry, we have a backup weapon here. <laughs> All right, got that house. Got this house. Got this house. I just remembered you guys can't see my cursor, so that's kind of um, me pointing at nothing. So we got this house. We got this house. 
have not gone into either of the two on either side of me here. This is apparently not actually a house, it's just like a storage closet. Okay. Nice try, lady. School bag. So this is a distinct possibility of having good stuff in it. We'll see. Shotgun shells. I'll take those. Plank, tent peg, sledgehammer. I should take this. Sledgehammer is useful, but not really as a weapon. Box of nails. More nails. You know what? I'm going to take that plank as well. And we're going to take this. I'm going to run this and the plank. The plank and the sledgehammer back to our other base because don't close that. Climb through it. There you go. Because um, they're useful. But I don't want to carry them around all day since we've got other stuff to do. Plus, we forgot to get any food. Alright, so we're going to get in here. And I'm just going to drop them on the ground. Worry about putting them away properly later. On this this uh, uh, curtain we never closed. Alright, so let's see. What do we got in our freezer that needs eaten? Actually, what's up here first? Eh, yeah, freezer. Broccoli. Eat it all up. Crunch away on that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Frozen broccoli. All right. All right. Next up is this one over here. Oh, I thought I saw a thing, but I didn't. I guess not. It's a weird side-by-side -side house. Nothing in there. Oh, that was already open. Nice. Paper clips. Nothing. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get lucky twice. There you go. Sheets. More sheets. Oh, um, let's uh, let's not do that. Well, that was damn lucky. Big hiking bag. I will absolutely take that. I've been getting real sloppy lately. I don't know what's up with me. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Nothing. Nothing. I'll take this. And I will take this. Take another butter knife. That. What you got in the refrigerator? Nothing? So cleaned out the fridge already? Ooh, chocolate. Chips. Alright, let's double check that. Yeah, alright, it's empty. Alright, trash can has nothing in it. We'll just head out this way. All right, we reach the end of the street. Let's go back up this direction. Three zombies down there, huh? All right, we got a house here, a two-story house we could potentially move to and live on the second story. So it's a thought to think about. Although I would like to, if we're gonna do that, I would really like to live somewhere with a kitchen on the second story. That way we don't have to worry about like going up and down very much. We'll check it out and see what we see. And you're slow. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up on these guys. Get one of them before the other one knows we're here. There we go. Another butter knife. It's probably butter knife left over from somebody else who was trying this little <laughs> tactic of using knives. Let's use this. Oh, there we go. 
So try that first before you bother with the other thing. Oh, lots of books. Alright, uh, farming for beginners. I think we need. So I'll take all this stuff here. Driving for beginners we have. We'll take intermediate. It's not that we'll ever use it, but... What you're supposed to do... Oh, that's just the same room. What is this? Oh, that's just that. Okay, I got a little confused because it was like seemed like it was inside. All right, what do you got for me? Water bottle. Water bottle. Whole bunch of food. Really, a whole bunch of food. Nice. More disin it's a lot I'm finding a lot of disinfectant. I mean it's it's good. It just seems like a lot. Alright, let's go upstairs. Nothing, nothing. Nothing and nothing. Alright. What about the other side? Nothing. Nothing and the earbuds. Okay. House is done. Guess we can finish this block, huh? Go down this this side of the street. See if there's any more houses that we missed. A whole bunch of broken windows here. Don't see anybody in there. Room. No, there's nobody in here. Honey, I'll take. Rice is heavy, so I'm not gonna bother with it right now. Should take those um, those rounds probably. All right, I'm gonna take the timer. I don't ever seem to use it, but. The proper thing to do to take it. I wonder where those rounds went. There they are. Alright. What else you got for me? Anybody back here? No? Somebody was breaking in and out of this house, but didn't didn't decide to stay. Alright, so I think we only have this little house here left. Getting hungry. Where's that slice of pizza I just picked up? You eat that. And we're through. Nothing. Nobody in here? Nope. Alright. A hammer. That's a good find. Unless we had one already. Then it's kind of a neutral find. But you know who doesn't remember whether or not we had one already? This guy. Alright. How much in that house? Okay, so that was that whole block. So let's go over here and drop our food off. Especially I'm concerned about the frozen ice cream being not frozen anymore. The thing about it is that when it when it uh, de-thaws, when it thaws, I guess not de-thaws, de-thaws Dethawing would be a freezing. Um, it will lose its happiness boost bonus that it has. Ice cream, where'd you go? There it is. Which, aside from being a good source of fat, um, that's one of the big, big uh, selling points. Eat this cherry. About that particular piece of equipment, so shotgun shells, nails, condiments, seeds, timer, all these water bottles, cooking pots, there we go.
All right, dropped a whole bunch of stuff off here. And these books too, I guess. Oh, I should drop those rounds off as well. All right, come on. So many things. So much inventory management. It's always part of the game. All right, so we're doing this. So far, we've been doing this in a very systematic fashion. I'm proud of us. <laughs> oh, hello. That was way more zombies than I thought it was going to be. Come on. Yeah, I messed that up. Thought that was a group of like three zombies. Came out a little bit faster than I should have. Now they're getting all really tightly close, closely packed together. Which is exactly the opposite of what I want. Oh, that just broke. Okay. Uh, let's get the frying pan back out. Alright, I still need you guys a little separated. A little bit more tightly packed than I would like. Can you separate a little bit? What if I make you walk through a tree? Will that work? Yeah, not really. Stretch them out a little bit. Kind of feel like zombie attack speed's been sped up a little bit. Something about my timing seems off, but then I've not been playing the best lately, so it's probably just my imagination. I'd really like for you guys, at least one of you to die. That would be very helpful for me. There we go. That should make things a little easier. Alright. Alright, we're down to two. Do the push and, push and stomp now. And there we go. Okay. Then, oh, painkillers, those are helpful. And then we're full. Oh, no, there it goes. Alright, um, we'll stop here for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.